Hello, good day, and welcome back. So today is not a video about actually program. It's more about how I'm going to be restructuring the course a little bit. And I think this is going to be better for everyone. So let me get go through and show you why. So then the following video um, is going to be about getting back to the subject matter. So why restructure? Well, um, when we were going through arrays and slices, there were a few times we used if and for, if and for statement to make a more interesting example. But we didn't really cover them, so I couldn't do much of them about with them in the examples. And I keep telling you to ignore it and um, you know just wait until we actually cover for loop and if statement. Um, and when you look at array and slices, if you don't can't use for well, they're not too much fun. Um, you know, having a this data structure with a number of elements in it and not being able to find a nice way to go through them, that's why we end up having to use four, even though we didn't even cover it. And the plan was not to cover four before I do array and slices. So I was going through with my initial plan because there are things about um, the for loop, for example, that are specific to arrays and slices, and I figure let's go through, see what arrays, slices, maps, channels are, and then at the end, I'll cover for a loop and then say, oh, by the way, since you know array and slices, these are the other things that a for loop can do. But as I'm going through arrays and slices, I'm realizing that, uh, you know what, should have just covered for and left out the array and slices part of it, and then now when we're doing array and slices, they go, oh, these are the other things. So um, that's why I want to change it. And so, like I said, soon we'll be doing maps and channels and therefore comes in. So if you look at the eye level of what our chapter looked like before, what I had in mind, you didn't know all of it, was basically chapter one, installation setup, which we did, chapter two, the basics, and they recover our values are represented at a bit level in, in binary and hexadecimal. And then we talk about um, functions and variable um, data and data types. Uh, we didn't go too deep into it. We talked about packages. And then we jump into chapter three and we start doing array and slices. Now, because they're so similar, as you know by now, um, just how create them is different. But other than that, how you use them is pretty similar. And then there are these other things that you can do with slices that you can't really do with an array, like growing it, for example. Um, and then you we looked at we were going to look at maps next and then channels and then types and so on well considering that um once i decide to revisit um if statement and function well in order to do the for loop which is we really want to do in the array and slices you will have to cover um if statement because a for loop and an if statement kind of it, you could say a for loop builds on the if statement um, which is, you know, what's called control flow. And if you're going to cover if statement, then you have to cover the select statement. So basically those three things needed to be introduced. And when I went back and looking at our chapters and I realized, well, you know, array and slices, I didn't have to put them together. So they could be in their own chapter. So that's what I'm going to do. So that's one of the things I'm going to do. I'm going to split array and slices into their own chapters. Or once you decide to split array and slices, but if you look at, uh, you'll see it's going to make sense once you look at the sections. These are the sections that we currently have, except for the last one, which I've already recorded. But because I'm reorganizing things, I'm not going to release that right now. I was actually released it yesterday and I had to pull it back. <laughs> so if you happen to have, you know, were on the site, you probably got a, um, a note that there was a section release and then I pulled it back. So anyway, if you look at what we have is introduction to array using arrays, arrays and function, and then we go into what the slices and everything is after that is about slices. So it seems like if it just makes sense to split this and just put all the array stuff in its own chapter and all the slices in, in its own chapter, hence we get a new chapter um, two and three for arrays, three and four for arrays and slices. Then once you do that, now in the, the array for, um, the chapter for arrays, you can do a, another section on iteration in, um, of arrays using the for loop, how we would have covered a for loop, and then you would see this range function, which I haven't been able to show you because we did not cover for loop, all right? But now, now it would make sense if, I, if we had covered for loop. And then the same thing, when we go to slices, we can insert a new section here 
how to iterate over slices with this range function which also work on slices. Now again in order to put this new section in array and slices to make better examples and just show how these data type work in for loops we have to call a for loop. So where would we have done that? Well if you look at chapter 2 and it looks that a good place to put it in is in chapter 2 somewhere but we're in chapter 2. So I think this would be the best place to put it after pointers. We could have put it after packages, but I think it fits in nicely after pointers, after we talk, talk about data and Boolean and all those data type. Now we can see how we can use the for st if statement, the switch statement, and the for statement. Now our ultimate goal really for I'm doing this with going backwards to say, oh, let's introduce the for loop. But if you're gonna do the for, it makes sense to do the if statement because uh, the if and the for kind of, they, they have to do it control, um, we call it control, flow control. And so there's another statement called a switch statement, which kind of builds on the if statement. So it makes sense to cover if first, followed by switch, and then followed by the for. And you're going to see when you actually see them, you're going to see it easily like build up and talk with each other. So I think this would be a good place to put it in. And I hope you like the new structure and what it would mean in terms of laying a foundation for the other topics and concepts like maps and channels and even when we revisit some of um, arrays and slices, how for will enhance your usage of those um, data types. So please bear with me as I go back and record these new sections and I hope it is not too painful for you. All right, so that's it. Um, see you in the next video. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and if you are, thank you very, very much taking the time to subscribe and thank you for spreading the word. Um, I see a few more subscriptions. I want you to continue doing that. Take care.